Hello, my name is Matthew Newsom, and I'm working with Kevin Verano to bring you this course, Mastering Django Web Development. Together, Kevin and I have 10 years experience creating Django-based web apps in both the startup and corporate sectors. Some apps we've published handle millions of page views per day and are managed by a team of dedicated developers. The material in this course will help you create better Django web applications and APIs as your project gets a little more ambitious. If you're new to Django, consider the video course Learning Django Web Development by me, Matthew Newsom. However, anyone who has created basic Django applications like those shown in the official Django tutorial will find this video helpful. Throughout this course, one of the major themes we'll cover is the DRY concept, which is fundamental to Django. DRY stands for Don't Repeat Yourself, and it means that we should be writing smart code that can grow with our project. When my early Django project started to grow in size, there was a lot of duplication and poor organization. It made my code fragile and hard to manage. I learned a lot of lessons the hard way, which resulted in wasted effort, poor application performance, and sometimes unplanned downtime. With this course, you'll learn techniques to help you avoid the same problems. We'll discuss using powerful class-based views, custom middleware, creating our own template tags and filters, building a RESTful API, advanced database modeling, taking control of caching, using model managers, and developing custom manage.py commands. We won't be creating a single application in this course. Instead, we'll focus on specific examples of advanced techniques where each of these techniques can be put to use. If you download the provided sample code, you'll see that there's one Django project per section in the series. This will make it easier for you to experiment with the code and see how it works. In this video series, I'll be using Python 2.7. If you have a newer version of Python, you will have to make some minor changes to the code, but the principles will still apply. The code samples are based on Django 1.8, but should work with newer versions of Django. Since 1.8 is an LTS version, it's a good idea to use it for serious projects, since it will receive security updates for quite some time. 